Since the last update added new parts, I wanted to make a mission to test those parts and here it is. We will go to the Mon using a space plane, which you can see being constructed in the background. But why build a space plane that goes to the Mon in the first place? Well, it has to do with my first ever Mon mission in KSP1. Uh, I only have that screenshot of it, you can see the graphic settings were horrible. And there I used the space plane too, just way too oversized and way too much fuel. I had like 5000 meters a second when I landed on the Mon. It was way too much basically. And I wanted to do something like that with the space plane again because I, I like this mission. Now the mission that inspired me to do the space plane back then was a video of Matt Laun of the Lunax lander I think it was called. You can see it on the info card, it's a pretty cool video. Matt Laun if you're watching this, hello you inspired me. But anyway, construction of the space plane is already going ahead and if you're asking yourself why the heck did you build air intakes in? I wanted to add air breathing engines for landing, uh, but ultimately I just forgot it. So they're just there because they look cool. Then I just strutted everything up and you can see how the wing setup is. We have a pre-wing and then a wing tip. It's a cool design trick you can use yourself in case P for making uh, wings look a bit better than they are normally. And for the color scheme I went with red because we have some other things we will visit in this mission and the color pattern just fitted that. But anyway, here we are adding the air brake in and the air brake has something really annoying going for it. You can only set it from uh, zero degrees to 90 degrees, which is weird in case P1 we had more um, options when we had an air brake. And secondly, the air brake is always active. It will always control pitch, yaw and roll. Always. You cannot shut it down. Even when in space, there's no button to shut it down. You will see what I mean in a second. But yeah, we will visit something in this mission we have put onto the Mon prior. So if you know this channel well, you will know what I'm speaking about. And if you watch the thumbnail, which you quite have while clicking on this video, you will see that too. So yeah, here we are building the lower stage, the landing stage, which has the beautiful name of Saucepan. A friend of me said it looks like a saucepan, so I will just call it that now. But I think it looks quite cool and this will land and the upper stage will separate upon ascent. Here we are building the fairing and then the orbit stage, which will bring us into orbit with the new engine, with an extendable nozzle engine. Now the new engines are really, really cool. They just have one annoying bug. You will see later on what I mean. It's quite annoying, but nothing special here. I just attached a engine plate and then a stage separator. And after adding way too many vector engines, this build is pretty much done. So let's get to the launch. And with that we have liftoff ladies and gentlemen and if you want to know how the song is called it's called Johnny Be Good Well, you should know that it's a fairly classical song everybody knows but if you didn't know now you know it anyway the launch went pretty good this was only the second try like the second try and it works is like whoa I didn't have such a good uh, failure rate since a lot of missions but this is a fairly simple mission as well. But I just added uh, 1 billion struts and then 1 billion more. Because, well, even though my joint strength is increased to the sky, it's still not enough. But anyway, we have stage deployment here. First stage ran out of fuel, second stage will kick in and you will see the engine now, this is the new engine. Look at the nozzle extending and then boom, we are on our way to orbit. We have almost reached orbit, this is so cool. Like The engine is really something cool from this patch. Then fairing deployment, the space plane is now exposed to the space and here we are in orbit almost and then we are ready to go to the Mon. But not before deploying these solar panels which are only there because they look cool, because every spacecraft looks better. But then going to the Mon. Let's go, we're on our way. And here you can see the bug as well. We have the engine contracted, but still we can fire and the interstage fairing is still there. Don't ask me how this works out, ask the devs at Intercept Games. This happens when you load up a quick save with the new engine. I have no idea how that works out. But anyway, we left Kerbin and here is 
The Mon. Doesn't the Mon just look absolutely amazing in KSP2? I think so. But anyway, here we are, decelerating around the Mon, getting into an orbit with the fairing still attached and the engine contracted. Just ignore it, guys, just ignore it. But then we have captured and we can stage away this annoying boggy stage and then we are completely on our own with the lander. This shot, by the way, is my new desktop background because look at it, it's cool. But we are in a fairly high Mon orbit, so we have to lower it down before we can go landing because we would come in way too fast because we only have that one engine and that one engine doesn't have that much thrust. So we would lose a lot of fuel due to inefficiencies and that's why I lowered down the orbit first. And after that is done, we can set the maneuver node for the landing site. I still haven't revealed. Have you guessed it already? I don't know. Anyway, we are decelerating. And now the burn is done and we can go over to the landing procedure. Now that landing took me many, 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 many attempts. I just cut this one successful in because then it looks like I have skill in the game. Not just joking. But yeah, it needed me about five attempts to land successfully. Because even though we lowered down our orbit first, the thrust that, that this engine produces is very little with all the fuel in this uh, lander here. But after getting used to it and crashing multiple times, I could finally land successfully. And also uh, there was a bug where you deployed the landing legs and the craft would just start to spin. But here we are landing on the moon. We have made it, we have come so far. Guys, nice that you are still in six minutes into the video. And here we have landed the craft. Now the problem is that yeah we have landed it, you can see it, but we are not really where we want to be. We are not at the target. So let's fly over to the target and reveal the target that we're going to. There's only a slight little problem. The terrain is very rigid here. Now I don't know why I landed, why I didn't just land the target in the seabed, but okay you know the mon seabed the dark spots everywhere but yeah i tried landing this very 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 high stack here and yeah uh, it went suboptimal let's say that but at the end i could land it successfully but not before going through the roughest landing and the weirdest landing ever so enjoy the most kerbal landing ever But after pressing shift Control wast way too many times, I finally could land it. And there it is, our target of today's mission, the Mon base I put on the Mon prior in a different video. Check the video out, guys, it's a really cool video. And here is the Mon base. I think it's quite cool, but let's get the Kerbos out because they're quite happy to get home again. They have been on this base for over a month now and the snacks have been running out. They don't have any chocolate bars left. But first of all, let's make a little group photo and let's get the lander a bit closer. And in old fashion, how I did it in that video, here is a news article for you. Let's do a photo. <laughs> And after we have collected them all, we can get back to Kerbin, we can lift off. Now the, the saucer pan is still attached, but it had a little bit of fuel left, so why not just use that fuel? It means it, it will explode probably, but a hey, why not? But then we can stage it away here. And then the space plane is on its own and will return to Kerbin. Now I will foreshadow the landing won't be the greatest landing I've ever made. I would actually title it the worst landing and it's pretty funny and the game was pretty weird as well so look forward to the landing but not before circling around the mon and getting into a stable orbit around it but first a little word from our sponsor myself actually i, I don't have any sponsors but uh yeah join the discord server i have one you can join it with the link down below if you want to chat with me or just with other people on the server. Pretty cool people on the server, I have to say. All guys watching this, if you're on the Discord server, 
you're really cool. There's not a single annoying person on the Discord server, which I'm amazed by because annoying persons are everywhere, except on that server. So join it and we can do some stuff together like community events, whatever. And if you're already joining the server, you might think about subscribing to this channel, just saying. But before I ramble on for too long, here we are, getting back to Kerwin. Uh, first of all, we, I made a little arrow break to save a little bit of fuel and then um, getting into a circular orbit around Kerwin and then we couldn't start the landing. Now I haven't made that many runway landings yet, only in the Buran and the Space Shuttle video. If you're interested in seeing how a Buran or a Space Shuttle is constructed, check out the video on the top right. But yeah, there I made runway landings as well and they were all smooth, this isn't. But the way you do this is you arrow brake and then once you arrow brake, you, you don't arrow brake to land instantly, you arrow brake into an orbit. So you are out of the atmosphere, use a little engine burn to get into that orbit and then you orbit around Kerbin until you are over the KC and then you can decelerate and get back. Now, get ready for the goofiest landing ever and you can see the air brakes are just not doing what they're supposed to. They're, they're actually braking in opposite sides, but they're, they're braking really well, they're doing their job quite good, like they're braking the craft, they're not braking apart, obviously. But yeah, the air brakes are doing their job well, just in a bit of a weird way, but hey, why not? And just like with the other landing, this was also the second attempt of the landing, I didn't get it first try. Now the problem is, when I tested, the craft didn't decelerate as much as it did now, and you can see I tried engine burning, but I didn't have much fuel left, and the fuel just ran out, and then we're just a brick. And yeah, here the craft exploded, because look at how fast we come down. Except it doesn't, like, why? But with the lathe video, uh, I had to touch down at 0 0.005 meters a second and here I can just completely fall out of the sky. But anyway, that concludes today's mission. I hope you liked it and click on the screen for more videos of me. See you next time and enjoy the little picture show I put up with the best screenshots of that mission. See you next time, goodbye!